Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers. I'm going to show you today how to do bulk user action. So I'm the admin. So the admin is here. That's the icon. I'm using Advisor Rem UI. Next, I'm going to go into, after I go into set administration, I'm going to go into users. So let's do that set administration. Wait a few seconds and then I'm going to go to users over here click on it and bulk action which is right here bulk user actions all right so what's my action let's go into more so i get all the features available click on more all right so notice what i have here last ip department institution number just go through these last modified never last access first access. these are relevant at some point so make sure that you know what's available so that when the time comes and you need it you'll know that it's here well I'm going to go into confirmed because I want to confirm I'm having problems uh, with a confirmation so no I have to manually confirm I've no idea what happened probably one of the plugins is um, interfering but I don't know so let's uh, scroll down usually things work out if they don't I kind of force them to so um, let's see if we have any let's add the filter you need to do that in order to see anything so we're going to add the filter wait a few seconds and let's see how many i have well it seems to me that i have only two which is not a bad thing so i'm going to add them to selection over here as i said this is a problem with the system even if the authentication is uh, using social networks or services such as gmail facebook or um, microsoft so that's it notice i've added them to the selection next i'm going to go into choose over here let's scroll down choose and i can confirm send a message delete display on page download force password change add to core now there are no passwords because uh, what they do is they need to be able to confirm their gmail accounts or facebook whatever oops whatever they're using so change is saved let's make sure that i did that correctly i'm not sure because um okay so we've got two here let's see if i actually did confirm just want to make sure that uh, confirm are you absolutely sure let's just make sure that they are okay changes made so right now everybody should be confirmed if i go back to bulk action okay that's what i do let's uh, remove this selected so that next time i come in i'll be able to do other things all right so let's go back into users under site administration and show you what i can do here i'm going to go back one more step all right into users now notice here if i want to check up on a user and see what's going on what i do under users is uh, browse list of users i can also add a new user take a look at these they're amazing features define role set administration just go through it and see what's available so that when you need it you'll know exactly where to find it so let me um, go to browse list of users okay now in this case i'm going to go into show more what i usually do in order to find out whether a user is here and what's going on is i do it through their email okay so what i do is i open it up like this and then i go into their emails that's the best way to locate anyone go into email over here and then I go into contains is equal to, and then I add the email. So if my email is Nelly at into, okay. So if I want to find that account, I scroll down and don't forget to always add filters so that you'll be able to find whoever you're looking for. Okay. So in my case, it's me with one of my accounts so click on the filter and there's the account you can go in and uh, through here 
to edit or you can go through here and edit you can also remove or just hide and that's it hope this has been of help and you use the feature the admin user feature on your Moodle site if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment box and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a great day